Irene Matsuoka. I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, my parents both work at Pearl Harbor. Our family never had dogs and cats. I realized that animals didn't have rights and protections, as many people may assume. So when I started volunteering at the Humane Society first, I started falling in love with all of the different dogs and cats. And then I started working at the Hawaiian Humane Society as an adoptions counselor. And when I was there, I think that very much so was when I realized that there were not enough protections for animals. Um, I did realize though that as a shelter environment, the Hawaiian Humane Society can only do so much and we're more of a reactive approach to animal welfare as opposed to a proactive approach, which would be changing law. I went to law school to help animals, but there's very, there's not as many opportunities as I would like to actually pursue something that's animal related. Um, and as a thesis paper, I decided to write on uh, legal personhood rights. And that was inspired by Stephen Wise, uh, the president and founder of the Non-Human Rights Project. The most uh, prominent case that came out involved two chimpanzees that were used as research subjects at Stony Brook University. Um, so that case actually did go to a hearing and it was again historic because for the first time ever animals had their day in court. And I was so inspired by what Stephen Weiss was able to accomplish with his non-human rights project group um, that I wanted to somehow bring that here um, to apply that, those ideas, those really novel ideas to animals here in Hawaii. We don't have chimpanzees here. So it wasn't something that I could actually do here with chimpanzees. Um, so while I was thinking about how to further develop that idea on legal personhood, um, I ended up eating dinner one night at the Kahala Hotel. I, was, I had just finished eating and I was walking off and I looked into the water and I saw these dolphins and you can see the ocean from where you are at the dolphin pools. So they're so close to freedom, but there's so many of them um, just entrapped in this little area. So that's when I realized that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to apply this concept of legal personhood that Stephen Weiss had, to, had created to these dolphins that were imprisoned at the Kahala Hotel. It's a disservice to the animal. Um, again, dolphins are incredibly intelligent beings. There should be a point where humans acknowledge and respect how amazing these beings are. Hawaiian culture has strong ties to not only the environment and the land, but um, animals. And specifically for dolphins, as it applies to dolphins, um, my argument was that dolphins are essentially amakua. Um, and amakua in the Native Hawaiian um, tradition, amakua are family members, basically. Um, they're guardians, they're animal spirits, they're animal protectors of a family. Um, so the, the dolphin is culturally revered. And because the Hawaiians have that tie to the dolphin, it is like that of mother to child. And in that sense, the next friend standing could be satisfied and a writ of habeas corpus could be filed on behalf of dolphins imprisoned in parks such as Sealeft Park and uh, the Kahala. Uh, right now we're at the Hawaii State Capitol, uh, the home of the Hawaii State Legislature. The law is, uh, is a reflection of how we view the world. Um, so when we look at different cases, historically for example, at one point women couldn't have abortions and through the legal system we changed that. Um, more recently, uh, there were no gay marriages allowed and through the Supreme Court we've changed that. So now there's a string of animal cases that have been passed uh, through the different court systems, either state or federally. So they're strengthening anim animal protections. They're acknowledging that animals are more than uh, just property, that they're actual beings. Um, and that continues to change at an ever increasing pace, again, just like abortion, just like same-sex marriage. So in that sense, I think we have high hopes that it'll, it'll get there eventually.